All right, so let's look at problem number 25. 25, we are given a piecewise function. f of x is made up of three pieces. One piece, the first piece, is defined only when the inputs are less than zero. And this is an input. Uh, the numbers on the inside of the parentheses are the inputs. So when the input is less than zero, we would use the first piece. So we would replace x with negative 2. And when we square negative 2, we get 4. And that's it. That's how you do that problem. If you replaced x with negative 2 in the second piece, you're not, there's no x in there, so no matter what, if x is equal to 0, if the input is 0, like this one, the output would be 2. So it's all about inputs and outputs. Okay, so that's exactly what we want to look at here. If the input is 0, we just look. We look here, here, and here. When is the input equal to 0? Or where do we, what piece do we use if the input is 0? Well, this is the input being 0. That's a 0. So the output is 2. So f of 0 has a value of 2. And then if x is equal to 2, so if the input is 2, and 2 is greater, so 2 is greater than 0, that means we have to use this piece. And when you're doing a problem like this, you'll want to just replace x, show which piece you're plugging your input into. So 2 times x plus 1, if x is greater than 0, 2 times 2 plus 1 is 4 plus 1, which is 5. So that's it. If you want to try some on your own, uh, you could pause the video and try these problems here and or you maybe already tried them and you're watching to see if you got the answers right or not I'm just confirming whatever your motivation here we go f of zero now we have to figure out well what which uh, which piece are we going to use is zero in between negative one and two or is zero in between two and three well we know zero is in between negative one and two so we're going to use the first piece we replace x with zero we get 2 times 0, which is 0, minus 4, which is negative 4. All right, f of 1. 1 is also in between negative 1 and 2, so we replace x with 1, and just continue with that process, simplifying our expression. We get f of 1 has a value of negative 2. f of 2. Well, here we have an option, kind of an option, at first glance, but 2 right there is less than or equal to 2. So 2 is equal to 2, so we're going to use this first piece if the input is in between negative 1 and 2, including 2. This piece here, we would only use this piece as soon as our input gets bigger than 2, not also equal to 2. So we can't plug 2 into both pieces. Remember, a function, you put one thing in, you get one thing out. So again, we replace x with 2 in the first piece. And for this piece, we get uh, 2 times 2, which is 4, 4 minus 4, which is 0. So f of 2 is 0. Finally, f of 3. Uh, it, then we would notice that 3 is not in between negative 1 and 2. 3 is between 2 and 3, including 3. So we're going to replace x in the second piece with 3. So we get 3 cubed minus 2. 3 cubed is 27. 27 minus 2 is 25. 